www.mondusfoundation.com این برنامه برای ایجاد اتحاد و همبستگی بین هموطنان ایران دوست در سراسر جهان به ویژه ایران تقدیم به شما عزیزان می شود. This program is sponsored by irondoostfoundation.com درود فراوان دکتر جعفر شجره هستم امروز برنامه ویژه داریم با یک مهمان ویژه که مثل همه ماها پنجاه روز گذشته قلبش برای ایران میتبه و من این جوان رو از طریق یک مصاحبه ای که با تلویزیونی به اسم فینتک داشت که به زبان انگلیسی اجرا شده بود و ما انترویومون امروز به زبان انگلیسی انجام میدیم برای اینکه هدف از این برنامه اینه که بتونیم حواس تمام مسئولین آمریکایی و گلوبالی جهانی به این مسئله ایجاد بشه که اتفاقاتی که در ایران داره رخ میده و این وومنز موومن یعنی یه انقلاب بانوان که ایجاد شد و همکنون برای پنجا سه چهار روز هست که ادامه داره و امید ما اینه که نذاریم این آتش این انقلاب هیچ جوری بیسته و ما بتونیم بالاخره به هدف اون برسیم و با همین عقیده هر کسی در هر کجای دنیا که ایران دوست باشه و بتونه به این هدف کمک بکنه و اکتیو باشه یعنی اکتیولی یا اکتیویست باشه برای ایران داره کار مثبت انجام میده و روزمرهشو برای این کار گذاشته ما احترام میذاریم فرقی نداره اگر هنرمند باشه رئیس جمهور باشه یا آنترپنور باشه یا حتی یک جوان 14 ساله فرق نداره همه ما ایران دوست هستیم به هم با یه هدف با این هدف و این عقیده میریم به این مسابقه با مهمان عزیزمون آقای ایمان هوشمند که یک کامیونیتی اکتیویست هستن یک کامیونیتی لیدر هستن که از اول این رولوشن شروع کردن در فلوریدا تمام ایرانی ها رو با هم جمع کردن یک آنترپنور هستن و بیزنس خودشون رو دارن در واشنگتن ولی در میامی زندگی میکنن آقای ایمان هوشمند خیلی خوشحالم که شما رو امروز در برنامه‌مون دارم Hushman, please tell us about your background and a bit of history about Unite and Conquer organization and what you have done for this current revolution in Iran. Sure. Um, well, I've been in the events and entertainment industry for about 25 years. When I was 16, I started to DJ. And I realized at a very young age that through music and events, I can be um, uniting with my fellow Iranians, which I never had the honor of meeting or growing up with uh, as somebody that would have been born or raised inside of Iran. I was born in Germany, lived 30 years in DC area. Uh, and so from a very young age, I realized that these are the group of people that my heart yearns to be with, to support, to unite with, to grow a community with, and be a part of a community with. And so the journey kind of started over there. And then I started my entertainment company uh, called Exclusively Entertainment in 2009. And so for many, many years have been a part of thousands of weddings and events and uh, cultural events, concerts. So it's been a part of my DNA for quite some time. And I'm very grateful for the community that I built in the DC, Maryland, Virginia area. Um, but about three years ago, I realized that I need to create a community fully focused on Iranians and, and not confuse it with my entertainment company because we were growing amongst the non-Iranian market. So it was kind of becoming a conflict of interest. Uh, and so I came up with the name of Unite and Conquer because I always felt that if Iranians truly unite, we are unstoppable. If we unite, we're able to really make a positive impact uh, in our communities, both locally, nationally, and globally. It's just, I've had nothing but great experiences with Iranians. And even though many of my fellow Iranians would always say, how do you work with fellow Iranians? I I've had nothing but positive experiences working with Iranians. Of course, there's always bad apples in any community, but but I would rather invest my time, energy, and money into doing whatever I can to help the community that has helped me grow my business and allow me to do what I love and what I'm passionate about. So United Conquer was born in 2019 with a very simple mission. 
to unite Iranians via impactful conversations, content, and events. So I started a podcast called the Awesome People Podcast, where I uh, try to have uh, authentic, genuine, deep conversations with the most awesome Iranians that I know uh, or that I wanted to know better. Uh, and they were truly authentic in a sense that they weren't regular interviews. You know, we talked about important issues like mental health, suicide, um, the, the struggles of getting to the point that they were getting to, kind of like making their mess a message that they would be wanting to share. So uh, it was the Awesome People podcast. And, you know, during the pandemic, while my entertainment company was shut down, it was a great opportunity for this podcast to pick up in a, on, a, on a little shoestring budget, if you may. And right. so we also started to create some other type of content. Uh, and then I was starting to do events like an entrepreneurial event in Florida. And so I did a few of those. And then all of a sudden, 50 days ago, when what happened with the with the killing of Massa Amini, which was a catalyst of this revolution, I was like, this is exactly what United Conquer was created for, is to figure out how to galvanize a community, unite a community. And obviously, with my experience, having done events, I was like, I'm going to do whatever I can to help out. And I kind of became the de facto organizational leader. And I've had um, the pleasure of working alongside so many other compatriots um, that have helped us to do all that we're doing. Piece that we saw on FinTech that got my attention. You know, the one part that really got me is when you, when you mentioned Iran used to be called the Paris of the Middle East. And, and, and that picture of... Uh, uh, the men and women sitting on the beach uh, peacefully, whatever they wanted to wear, it hit, resonated to me. It hit me home that really we, we went backward really a thousand years. So uh, that really was amazing piece. Uh, I liked the, whoever edited that and however you came up with that idea on FinTech was amazing. It, 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 it displayed what Iran should be and will be. Now, going, um, I will show this piece to the audience at the end of the interview because I want them to see what I saw, those portions that was about Iran. And it really got, got my attention. And I thought for uh, a young man like yourself, being on uh, an organization, a network a platform of a professional TV station that broadcasts about uh, stock market and so on, so on and so forth, NASDAQ and all that, to talk about Iran and also seeing you on there and talking about our country was amazing. So thank you for that. Uh, going forward, I know you, you have a mission in a couple of days on 11-11. I want to talk about that and we're going to show this um, video that you made, the promo, so everybody knows to tune into your YouTube live stream, which is about obviously this moment movement and his revolution and you want to shed the light on things. So can you tell us about this live stream that you have? And this is most important for everybody to tune in on 11.11 at 11.11 a.m. And it's unique numbers that you picked. Yeah, so, you know, we've been organizing these uh, local protests in South Florida, and it's been incredible having a couple thousand Iranians come each week and they've been appreciating it because it's not a very big community so many of them who've lived there for 30 40 years in the miami area had never even thought that there's this many iranians around which goes to show just how important this is for all iranians that they're willing to leave everything aside and come together as a community and be the voice of the voiceless um i just realized that i i had enough resources and experience around me that we can do more impact than just a couple thousand people and nowadays with the with the beauty of technology and and uh social media and considering i had done live streams in the past couple of years during the pandemic i i came up with the idea of you know what we need to figure out how we can um, amplify this message to a much wider audience and i came up with the live stream idea as being the best thing that i can do right now to hopefully reach hundreds of thousands if not uh if not uh, more and so the idea of 11 11 came about because two three weeks ago i had to figure out a date that was not too close so we have time to produce something of quality and also not too far out because we have to strike while the iron's hot right now is when we need to make the most amount of noise so i was trying to juggle um these two dates uh, as far as too little too late and I, I looked at the calendar and I saw 11-11 and it spoke out to me. And there's a personal story behind it because my dad, he passed away on July 7th. And on the morning that he passed away, I saw on my phone 
eleven eleven. And usually, when you look at eleven eleven, it does kind of stand out in general. Um, and right. and so so it wasn't so weird when it happened that morning, although it was for me um, something that stood out. But then seven times in a row that evening, the next day, that next evening, it just kind of kept on popping and popping and popping. So within my family, it had become a a little sign of our dad just saying, hey, I'm here. I'm looking out for you. And so when I was looking at my calendar, um, I looked at 11-11 and I was like, there it is. That's a date. And I wanted to kind of continue to add on that numerical meaning. And I was like, well, it looks like I'm doing a 12 hour live stream where I'm starting at 11, 11 a.m., 11, 11 p.m. And hopefully it would also be a date and a time frame that people will remember. And just from a marketing standpoint and considering I'm trying to get this word out to as many people, it had all these different stars aligned that I, I, I chose those dates and times. Now, who is going to be on this? Uh, you mentioned that uh, there are a number of uh, known uh, speakers, actors, actresses. I'll, I'll mention a few because I won't do justice by by missing out some of them. But um, from Farmarza Aslani, Max Amini, Maz Jabrani, uh, Kamyar, Tehran, um, Tara Grammy, Nazani Noor, Farida Zolan, Dr. Shaheem, Arash Sobhani. Um, we have Parmidei Bariz, um, trying to think of uh, Captain Behnam, Bahram and Behamin, Chelsea Hart, um, uh, Liraz, Ziba Shirazi, I think I said Tehran. So it's, it's, a, it's a lot of amazing, uh, Mandana Khazri. There's a lot of individuals that have graced us with their presence. So basically, how does this work? I, I mean, I know how it works, but I want the audience to, to understand. So how do they, how do they join? join this live stream and and what is what do you want our tv station to do as far as i try to air some of the some of it live and some of it we record and we'll air it again i love to people hear what what everybody has to say on this live stream about iran and obviously the idea is to shed shed a light on what's happening right now and be a voice of the iranians on the streets so i'm assuming everyone on this platform is going to have nothing but just the benefit of the Iranians and what they say on the streets of Iran, which is um, uh, no more Islamic Republic, obviously, and 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 no more uh, tyranny and and home, human rights and women's freedom and ultimately freedom of Iran. Correct. That's pretty much it. I mean, we really hand selected individuals that have been using their platform for the last six seven weeks to really just speak on behalf of the Iranian people. No political, religious, or any other ideologies that's being pushed other than the fact that these individuals have been doing their best to use their platform to be the voice of the people. And so that's why I was like, you know what? We have to bring the loudest voices together, bring the most prominent voices and activists together. And we're also going to be sprinkling some live performances, some special, beautiful programming. And honestly, the jewel of this entire program is the virtual memorial that we're having to honor those that we've lost. You know, I wanted to make sure that this program has adequate time to showcase the the, the dreams that were crushed too early, the families that were um, now dealing with the loss of their loved ones. And so throughout the program, we're gonna be having uh, some beautiful remembrance of those individuals. Great. Obviously, you're recording the whole thing and I, it's going to be rebroadcast on, on YouTube and it will be available for people to see at a later time. But and most importantly, I'd like to be able to see if you could air it on Pars TV, either in segments or in whole, if there's performance. And obviously, in the memory of the lost ones, and my condolences goes to all the Iranian families that have lost their loved ones in this movement. Uh, and uh, I appreciate what you're doing. So uh, we didn't, I asked the question, I think I asked two questions. I, uh, I want to ask it again. How do we join the live stream? Like if, if someone is hearing it right now, which I'm going to air this program later on today and also tomorrow twice on our network and hopefully people, I want, I want to be able to, for them to go to it. So how do they go? Is there a link or something they have to, how do we, how do they find out about this live stream? Sure, there's a couple of options. First, basically, it's through our Unite and Conquer YouTube channel. So if you go on YouTube and you search for Unite and Conquer, um, it'll be right there at the very top where it has a link for the live stream. Uh, if you're watching it uh, before, if you're watching this before 11, 11 a.m. on 11, 11, there's an option to set a reminder and be notified. So when we go uh, live on air, 11, 11 a.m. Eastern time, uh, that's where we'll be. But also, if you follow me on, on Instagram, Iman Hushmand, 
is in my bio. If you follow the United and Conquer Instagram, which is at Let's Night and Conquer, you can go on their bio. So those links are all available in those three different outlets. Okay, so uh, we are running out of time. Mr. Hushman, thank you so much for your time. I uh, appreciate it. We're going to go ahead and put uh, everything you just said about the links and your, your Instagram links and everything so people could go to it. We'll make sure it's all properly done via uh, our TV session. Again, thank you so much for everything you've done for, uh, for, for Iranians all over the world. I appreciate you and everything that Pars TV is doing and much love to your entire family for everything they've been doing for 30 years. And Omida Azadi. Thank you.